Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our URC 2021 lesson practice. Okay, uh, so this video, I will proceed with the next level. Okay, I will share you on how to do the programming for level number six. Okay, before this, uh, I already uh, teach you on how to do the level number one, two, three, four, and five. So this video, I will proceed with level number six. Let's go. All right. All right, for the uh, level number six, okay. Uh, in level number six, our lesson objective is one. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, you know on how to do the programming using the IR factor reflector. That one is the main uh, objective. Okay, so what is the IR photo reflector? IR photo reflector is the uh, one of the sensors in uh, our tech robot, which is this sensor is to detect uh, any object okay, uh, in front of the robot. It means that uh, the, 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 uh, the IR photo reflector will place in front of the robot. So it will detect any distance, uh, sorry, any obstacle or any object that, uh, you know, will be in front of the uh, robot. So anything, okay. In this level, the object that I mean uh, is the, the waiting doors, okay. You have to pass through three waiting doors uh, before you enter the portal. So your robot will use IR portal reflector to detect the waiting doors one by one and then passing through the doors and then go to the uh, portal. Okay, so uh, your mission is to collect all the energy portions and enter the portal. It is the same like the previous levels, but uh, the additional information or additional knowledge that you get from this level is you need to program your, uh, you need to program using the IR photo reflector. Okay, IR photo reflector. So you need to pass him through the three layers of the waiting door and then uh, before you enter the portal. All right, let's go. Okay, this is the new features in this level. Okay, as I said just now, there is uh, three layers of the waiting doors. So you need to use the IR photo reflector to detect the waiting doors before you pass through the doors to the uh, to go to the portals, all right. But please make sure that um you did a, a correct or accurate uh programming, okay. Especially on uh measuring the distance, um, uh, with your robot and also the uh the waiting doors, because once you hit the door or once you collect the door, then your art tech robot will be back to the original position which is the starting position but please uh, but don't worry the programming will remain the same only the position of your robot will be going back to the starting point okay okay this is the IR photo reflector that I said just now it is located in front of your uh, robot so that's why it will detect any object or any obstacle in front of your robot in this level uh, the object means that uh, the waiting doors that you need to pass in through. All right, so this is the uh, IR photo reflector blocks, okay? You can, you can find the blocks under the sensing pallets block here, okay? There is a sensi sensing uh, pallets block and only uh, IR photo reflector will be here. All right, so the concept of the IR photo reflector means that it is uh, measure in centimeter. It is measure in centimeter the distance, okay, the distance of your robot and also the object. Okay, so that one we call it as the IR photo reflector values. And you can see that the values of the IR photo reflector on your right side, there is uh, a tab here, okay, click, tap on the IR photo reflector and then you can see the distance as you can see now 7.68 centimeter is the default measure uh, it 
it is uh, a default distance okay from the starting point to the first layer of the waiting block this is the not value that you're going to use until the end of your um, programming because uh, later on you will use a new uh, measurement or a new distance because you need to measure and it, it is advisable for you to measure before you do the programming so this is the default measure okay from the starting point to the first layer of the waiting block it means that uh, this is the distance uh, from the starting point to reach at the waiting uh, the first waiting block so it is 7.68 cm remember this is the not uh, this is not the value that we're going to use until um, at the end of the hour programming right and the concept of the ir photoreflector okay it is it is um uh, to measure the distance any object in front of the robot right so uh the concept is the closer the object with your robot the the lower that the value will be okay it means that uh, the more you close to the door the value of the uh, ir photoreflector here will be lower okay so this is what i mean that uh, the closer the object okay the lower the value will be all right as you can see that on your right side the robot is far to the uh, with the uh, object so that's why the RI photoreflector value is 50 centimeter and then on your right side the IR photoreflector value is 2 centimeter as you can see that the distance is different this one is more closer to the uh, object and then this one is more uh, far to the object so that is the concept that I said just now the more the more the um the more the more close uh, or the closer your your robot to the object okay the 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 small the smaller value will be all right so okay when you use the ir photoreflector even though that you use the ir photoreflector block okay you need to use the basic sequence of the movement okay basic sequence means that you need to put the event block you need to put the power block you need to put the uh, direction of the block okay uh, uh sorry the direction of your uh, robot okay and then the weight and the brake block okay but these two the brake and the uh, the brake and the waiting block okay um it will not be the same as the previous program after this i will show you because uh, when you use the ir photo reflector it is um, related to the condition of uh, what you want your robot to do okay when your robot detect a certain distance okay what you want your robot to do uh, are you going to stop your robot or are you going straight or are you turning your a robot to the left or to the right okay that 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 is uh the important part when when you use the ir photo reflector okay so press play icon take note of the reading value or uh, that you can use on the next step make sure to focus as the ir photo reflector value can change fast okay can change fast means that uh, once your robot okay as you can see this value Okay, once your robot is starting to move, the value will be uh, will be different here. It will change fast, okay, according to your movement of your robot. Remember, the closer that the robot with the object, the, the lower that the distance will be here. All right, so next is, uh, this is a new lesson, okay. If you use the IR photo reflector, you need to use the operation block too, okay. As you can see that on your on your left side the operator palette block okay which is the, the green color one the operators have two types of the uh, two types of block okay which is as you can see that one the symbol is less than less than and the other one is bigger than it means that 
After this, you will insert your value of the distance, right? So your value, let's say uh, your value is uh, 5 cm. So this, uh, the first one will detect IR photoreflector uh, less than 5 cm, what happened? The second one, if you use this, uh, IR photoreflector more than 5 cm, what happened to your uh, robot? Okay, so this is what I said just now. The IR photoreflector distance is combined with the operation block. So this is compulsory for the IR photoreflector. This, these two of blocks, okay, you need to work to each other, okay. If you are not using the operate, operation blocks, then your IR photoreflector will not work. Alright, so how to combine these two? You need to drag, click, drag, okay, this IR photoreflector into the, the, the space column on your left side. Don't, don't, uh, place this IR photoreflector inside the, the right. Uh, side because on your right side will be uh, the value that you measure the, the the value that you measure using your IR photoreflector after this alright so insert the IR photoreflector block and the IR photoreflector reading value into the opening block okay drag the block and do as as same as above alright this one I said this now what is the question marks here question marks here is the value that appear here, okay, once your robot is moving closer to the waiting door, okay, once you record, let's say, uh, uh, just now I said, it is advisable for you to record and measure before you do a whole programming, right? Because uh, you, you, once you measure, you can just uh, insert the value here. Okay, you are not using the 7.68 centimeter here because this is the default distance from the starting point. It is a not a uh, distance that we use until end of your mission. Alright, so insert the IR photoreflector reading value that you have recorded before into the space shunt. Space shunt is on your right side. Okay, only the right one can be inserted. Okay, means that only put it inside the value on your right on your right side column okay don't put it here and exchange to each other it is not correct so make sure that you you place the ir photo reflector on your on your left side and then the um the ir photo reflector reading value on the right side okay all right the new lesson in this level is um uh, if then block Okay, this is one of the important block too when you are using any, any sensors. Okay, uh, especially on the IR photoreflector. Because IR photoreflector, um, we know that uh, IR photoreflector, we can decide which condition that we want you, our robot to move. For example, if you put here, okay, later on I will show you. Okay, the, the, the um, if then block you can you can uh, see from the control palette I uh, control palette block okay which is here okay control the first block in the control palette block okay this is how you combine uh, the previous one the IR photo reflector and the operator block put it inside the if then block okay so these three will work it together and then it will read your programming. Okay, that is the, the, the concept of the IR photo reflector programming. Alright, so you need to drag a block and insert into the other block as above. The other block is the uh, if then block just now. Alright, as you can see that if then block have uh, another layer of the programming, right? So uh, it will read the condition, what condition that you want. Okay, for example, here, you choose the operator of the less than value. Okay, let's say that uh, it means that your programming will be if IR photo reflector distance detect less than, let's say, 5 cm. So, uh, what is the next action for your robot? Maybe you want to stop. Maybe you want to go straight. Maybe you want to turn right or to turn left. Okay, later on, I will show you how to do the programming. Okay, 
this is how you combine the the the, the normal basic programming sequence with your IR photoreflector um, block and uh, short programming here. Okay, how to combine? Okay, uh, same as before, you need to click and drag for it inside here. So, it means that your robot will move 100 power. Okay, your robot will move 100 power moving forward and then the IR photoreflector distance uh, read less less than let's say 5 cm distance and then your robot will decide to break okay means that moving without stopping until your IR photoreflector detects certain distance for example 5 cm and then it will stop okay it will stop because it uh it will uh, wait for the waiting doors to be opened. Remember, this one, the value of uh, the centimeter here is the distance between your robot and your waiting door. It means that, let's say that your distance is 5 centimeter to the waiting door and then it will stop for a while. Okay, you can you can add uh, the weight block. After this, I will show you. Break for, for a moment and let the, the waiting door to be open fully and then you will pass in through the waiting door. Remember, if you are not waiting for the fully open for uh, of the waiting doors, and then your position will be returned back to the original position. Okay, once you hit or collide with the doors, okay, the position will be back to the starting point. But don't worry, your programming will remain at that place in the programming uh, canvas in the room. All right. Combine block as shown above. If IR photoreflector sensor reading is lower than assigned value, lower means less than here. As you can see, the symbol here, lower than the assigned value. Assigned value is the measured value of the IR photoreflector. All right. Attack robot will stop moving. Okay. Means that your robot is close to the waiting doors and then it will. Waiting for the waiting doors to be fully open and then pass it through to go to the portal. Alright, this is the forever block. Okay, another one block that introduced to you in this level. Okay, the forever block is used to uh is used when your programming have a repeat repeating uh, action or repeating programming. So you can use the forever. It is quite similar to the uh repeat but the forever means that it will continuously moving the same action okay that one we call it as a forever you can find the forever block in uh, under the control block okay under the control palette and you can see the forever here okay you can find this block via the control icon this block is used when you need a program to move repeatedly and continuously so you you're gonna use the forever you're gonna use the if then you're gonna use the IR for the reflector operator block. Later on, I will show you how to combine this four. All right. So this is what I mean: the combination between the normal uh, programming, the forever block, the IR for the reflector uh, operator, and also the if then block. Okay. This is your programming will looks like after this. All right. This is how your programming will look like after after this. So this is the um, the program that you need to write for the IR photo reflector. The same step uh, every time you use the IR photo reflector. But um, I advise you to not you you uh, use the maximum speed power, which is one hundred, because uh, IR photo reflector is too sensitive. If you are too fast, and then it will not uh, detect accurately. Your movement of your robot will will be go some will go somewhere, okay, slightly to the right or slightly to the left, and detect the other object instead of the waiting door. All right, so I will show you on how to do the programming. Okay, this is what I said the waiting door just now. As you can see, you have one, two, three, three layers of waiting door. So you need to detect three times of the waiting door. And then passing through uh, the doors and go to the portal. As you can see here in the map, the portal will be after the third waiting door. 
So make sure that you use the repeat block. Uh, sorry, the forever block. Okay, because you are you are going to do the same uh, program. Okay, before you enter the portal. Okay, and then I said just now. You need to measure the distance of uh, or the IR photo factor value before you start the program. So make sure I want you to see here the difference between uh, the difference in this IR photo factor value, the distance here. Alright, so what I need to do is uh, I just put uh, some block, okay, for example, this, alright, just a simple block, okay, uh, for me to to have a record on the um what uh i have photo reflect value All right so make sure you turn m1 and m2 m1 and m2 okay one centimeter is quite um far okay for my robot to to detect here but it's okay i will show you okay please check like this see the value is different okay the value is changes so the closer my robot uh with the door the the lower uh, the value of the ir photo reflector here okay but i want my robot to move a little bit to the front so i will put 1.1.1 1. 1. 1, okay then go this is just to to have a uh, to record the measure, uh, to record the value of the IR photo reflector. This is not the the exact um block or exact programming for this eleven number six. So I want to make it closer, more closer, because I have I want to have the uh, lower value. Okay, as you can see, see this value is uh getting lower right okay the lower the value the better the the ir ir uh photo reflector distance okay so okay i will take this 4.08 centimeter and i will run out uh, run off the value and i will take it as the four centimeter okay this is the best distance Okay, as long as uh, your your waiting door is not open yet, and then it is it is good to have a closer distance between this. Alright, so please make sure if if let's say that you want to make it more closer, it can uh you can be, but uh remember, IR photo reflector is too sensitive. Once you move forward a little bit, and then it will open the waiting doors. So for me. Uh, this distance is just nice for you to detect the waiting doors. So I will uh, record as the four centimeter for my uh, IR photo reflector value. All right. So okay. So let's start the program. Okay. Remember just now start program and then you will have a forever block. Okay, forever block because you need to passing through three. Uh, waiting doors so take a forever block and then remember the uh the the basic concept of the uh, movement sequence this one okay the power set the power set the uh set the direction but i advise you to to use the lower speed and i will choose a 40 okay the lower the uh the speed of your robot okay uh the better the movement of uh your robot because uh i have photo reflector is too sensitive when you use the highest speed of the uh of the power sometimes that it will be going too fast and then detect the other object okay instead of the waiting now and it will and it will go uh slightly to the right or slightly to the left Okay, it's up to you 50 or second but uh below than 50 is uh quite uh suitable right the value okay it is depend on you so you need to uh test okay which power that suitable for your um 
robot to pass it through the waiting box. Okay. Okay. Next is uh, this if then block. Remember, if then block. Okay. If you want to use the IR photo reflector block, you need to use if then block. And then uh, go to operator block. Okay. And take less than condition. I will use the less than condition because I want uh, my robot to detect okay less than let's say uh, the value that I measured just now is 4 cm means uh, my robot will move without stopping and then take the RR photo reflector and photo reflector will detect uh, the measurement just now okay 4 cm and then what will happen to my movement so I want my robot to stop okay in front of the waiting doors and wait for the waiting doors to be fully opened before I pass it through the uh, the door. So I will take break block, okay, the break block M1 and M2. And how long that I I want my my robot to break or have a delay before uh while, while waiting for the uh, waiting door to be fully open. So I will put a wait, okay. And I will set let's say one uh, 0 0.5. You can put one, uh, uh, but after this, if you put one, you can see uh, your robot is staying uh, quite a long time, okay, to wait for the waiting door to be open. Just use a 0 0.5 first, and let's see what happened. Okay, please remember uh, the value that uh, I measured just now before I did this programming. I got the value of the 4 cm, okay, uh, that is the, the distance between my robot and the waiting door. So, let's see what happened. Okay, as you can see, the number is um, changing first, okay, once your robot is moving. So, my robot will go 40 uh, power speed and try to detect 4 cm, see, try to detect 4 cm and then the waiting door will open. And then my robot will start to move. Alright. It is going slowly. Alright. Because uh, the slower your robot is, the much better of the movement. Okay. And uh, the smaller the value of the, uh, this one, the distance or the IR for the reflector value, the better your movement of the robot. Uh, towards the bottom. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one. Okay, um, it means that four centimeter is uh difficult for my IR photo reflector to detect. So I will uh make it my IR photo reflector value smaller. So I will minus one, and it will be three centimeter now. Okay, you can change the value. If let's say that uh your robot is not uh detect. Uh, the waiting door okay as what you want so you can minus uh, maybe one centimeter here or 0 0.5 centimeter it's up to you okay so i will change back i will try back my program okay Right, it is passing through. Okay, it is uh passing through the second waiting block. Okay, and then moving forward to the third uh, waiting doors. Okay, remember you have three waiting doors to be going through. All right, and then wait zero point five. Okay, wait for the waiting door to be fully open, and then going straight to the portal. Okay, that is uh, important. Okay, for you to do uh, to have a waiting block here. Okay, to wait for the uh, waiting door to be open because uh, if you are not put the wait block, okay, so your robot will hit the door and then you will go in back to uh, original positions. Uh, and your your program and your Programming will me will remain okay. Don't worry. Just the position will be 
back to the uh, starting point. So uh, in this level number six, the lesson objective is uh, you need to know on how to do the programming of the IR photo reflector. So you need to know what is the function of the RF photo reflector. IR photo reflector is the sensor to detect any object in front of your robot. Okay, and then um, you need to know how to use the um, IR photo reflector block. Okay, combine with the operator block, and then uh, combine with the um, if then block. And then you will use the forever block. Okay, it is depending on the map. If let's say that your map uh, require you to use the forever block, and then you will use the forever block. All right. So, uh, the concept of the IR photo reflector: the closer your robot with the object, okay, the lower the value of the IR photo reflector reading. That is much better. If you get a lower value of the IR photo reflector value. That one is much better. It means that your robot is precisely or accurately detect the object in front of your uh, robot. Okay, I hope that you can get something from this video and try your best to do uh, the practice for the level number six. Right, and then I will see you on the uh, next video. Right, bye. Thank you.